Hey guys, William Justice here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve video editing and fusion effects. Today I have an update to my Just Bullet List plugin. This plugin lets you quickly create a bullet list, just like this, um, really easy in DaVinci Resolve. You just take the effect and drag it onto any graphic that you want to use for your bullet and everything's done. Type in your text and you have a customizable bullet list really quickly. With a new update, you can add numbers to each of the bullet items to create a numbered list. And hopefully I fixed a few issues you guys were having where the screen would go black. We'll talk about that in just a bit. I also have a really quick update to my timeline tool. So if you're using it, there's a download link in the description. With this update, you can take a text plus style and copy it to all the other text plus clips on a specified track. So that can be really handy if you're wanting to change a lot of text at the same time. I really need your support. So make sure that you like and subscribe if you enjoy my content and also comment below and let me know how I'm doing. There's a download link for the Just Bullet List effects in the comments below, or you can go to my website, billjustice.com, click the timeline effects and find the Just Bullet List effect on that page. I'm gonna go over the basics of the Just Bullet List effect, show you how to set it up, how to turn on the number bullet list items, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I did to fix the black screen issue. Let's take a look at how easy it is to use the Just Bullet List effect. Let's take an Adventure Resolve logo and add it to the timeline. We're gonna turn this one into a regular bullet list. Let's take the logo again and we're gonna put it over here and we're gonna, we're gonna turn this one into a numbered bullet list. And lastly, go to the effects area and choose the effects and we're gonna take a fusion composition and drag it into the timeline and we're gonna turn this into a custom fusion, fusion animation for our bullet. So let's do the first one. The first step is to um, adjust the length of the clip to however long you want the bullet list to be. That looks good. And go to the effects area find the William Justice folder and take Just Bullet List and drag it right on top of the clip. It took your clip and turned it into the bullet and added some text. Now the clip can be a fusion animation, a video, graphic, really anything that you want. Let us uh, let me show you how to really quickly customize this. To change the bullet list position text or whatever, go to the effects area and search, look for Just Bullet List. So real quickly, you can change the font. We can adjust the color. So we'll adjust the font size. Reset it to the default. The list position allows you to move the list so we can kind of shift it over a little bit. Let's make the text just a touch bigger. There's a line spacing, so you can have them further apart. So if, you have, if your fonts get bigger, you may need to space them out a little bit more. For the animation delay is the delay between each of the animations as they fade in. So if you want them to fade in faster or slower, you can change the animation delay. That's the number of frames between each of the fade ins or whatever effects you apply to the bullet. You can adjust your lines of text. And the new version supports two lines of text, so underneath that you could, um, you could put in some more text and adjust the spacing. Gives you a little bit more flexibility. The horizontal anchor allows you to, so right now you can see that they're aligned to the left. You can click this one and it'll be aligned to the right. And after you do the alignment, you might want to adjust the bullet position and size to fit with where your bullets are going. The default bullet list supports up to eight bullet list items. If you don't need that many, all you need to do is remove the text from each of the lines. So we'll remove the last three lines. You see we have five bullets there. The timing lets you set which, when each of the bullet items fades in. Um, refer to the, there's a link in the description and you can refer to the first video where I go into a little bit more detail on how to adjust the uh, bullet timing. Text, we can adjust the text opacity. We can move it around. We can adjust the tracking. Um, adjust the angle and all of these parameters are animatable and I'll, I'll show you what you need to do to animate that and there's a, a write-on to create some write-on effects. We'll reset that. The bullet option lets you adjust the fade in and fade out. You can adjust the bullet position. You can see we can move them over if we want them on the other side. You can put them really wherever you want and adjust the size to make them a little bit bigger or smaller and we can adjust the angle. So a, a lot of different options. Then we have the number option and by default the numbers are hidden. To get them to show up you just need to take the blend and slide that over to one and you'll see that we have a number on there. It doesn't go great with the uh, DaVinci Resolve logo, so you could go to the, back to the Bullets tab. Let's take the Bullet Blend all the way down so that we can see the number. We'll go to back to Number. We can adjust the font, play with the color a little bit, um, adjust the size, and we can move the position of these numbers around depending on what your uh, animation is set up, and we can actually spin them an angle like that. And we're gonna do an animation for the spinning numbers next. Okay, so let's take a look at the next bullet list. Okay, so here's the next bullet list we're gonna set up. This one we're gonna to wanna to animate. So if you wanna animate it or change some keyframes, you need to right click on it and say new fusion clip. To be, the, to be able to animate this does need to be a fusion clip. So we took this graphic and turned it into a fusion clip. So it's gonna work pretty much the same. Let's take the just bullet list effect and drag it on. And we got the basic bullet list set up. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and let's adjust the font. 
space them out a little bit more. We're going to have the animated numbers coming in. So go to the bullets area and we're going to take the bullet blend and bring that all the way down. And we're going to take the number and put that up. So we're going to have numbers there. And let's change the number font, make it a really, a really thick font. Okay. So we're going to animate this number here. First, I want to choose a color. Let's kind of make it a fun color there. Go to the first frame and we're going to keyframe the angle. And let's go over about uh, 10 frames or so. And we're going to set the angle to 90. And that's about it. It's going to fade in and the number is going to spin into position by just keyframing. So all, all of the, uh, all the options are keyframable. So we could even keyframe the, uh, let's go to the text and keyframe the angle. Go about 10 frames or so keyframe the angle again, go back and adjust it. And now we have uh, some spinning in text. Really simple. A lot, a lot of things you can do with it. Okay. Last thing I wanted to do was to create a fusion animation for our bullet. So we have a fusion animation. We're going to drag it out to however long we want. We'll get into fusion and we're just going to make a real simple animation. We're going to take a background, drag it into the media out, bring the blend down, take another background, merge it over. And we're going to click the, uh, with the background selected, we're going to click the ellipse mask and that's going to get our circle. This is a basic bullet shape. Select the background. We're going to choose a gradient and we're going to click the first color and set it to, let's set it to like a red and select the last color and we'll make it kind of an orange and we'll move the gradient, kind of have it go diagonally across. There we go. That's kind of what our bullet's going to look like. And we're going to put a, just a real quick animation on it. Um, let's take another, mm. uh, let's add another background. We're going to set this one to be white and merge it on top. Background selected. We're going to click the ellipse mask. And in this one, we're going to uncheck solid and bring it up a little, bring up the border and make it a little bit smaller. So it kind of fits in there. This is similar to what I did in the intro and bring the length down to about halfway or so Add a transform. And we're just going to spin this around. So we're going to set the angle and then go over in the animation and we can move the angle to say 360. So it's going to spin. To get it to keep spinning, we'll go to the spline, select angle, click this button here to select all the points. We're going to select them all and then we're going to hit this set relative. And that's just going to have the animation continue to spin. Make this line a little bit shorter. And then we're going to take the same, uh, the output of the transform one and we're going to drag it right on top of this merge and hit the flip, the two flip buttons. And now we have the two lines going. This is just a quick animated bullet. You could do whatever you want here. So we'll take the just bullet list and drag it right on top of this fusion composition. And you can see we have our animated bullets that come in. This can be a little bit slow on the timeline. So with the bullet list, render in place is your friend. It'll take this uh, full animation and turn it into a clip. So it plays really smooth in your editor. To do this, you just need to right click on the fusion composition and choose render in place. Then click render and select your render folder. And you gotta, this may take a little bit, but you wait a little bit. And once it's rendered, everything is going to run really smooth. And now that it's rendered, it's going to run a whole lot smoother. Okay. So everybody that was having the black screen problem, hopefully this is a fix. There may be other issues. And if there are, please let me know and I'll keep investigating and try to fix it. Um, look, to demonstrate what's going on here, let's go to the media pool and drag in our DaVinci Resolve logo. We're using this for all our bullets. One of the problems we have is if we take the beginning of the clip and we drag that in, so that the beginning of the clip is not actually at the beginning, that causes a problem. I think it has something to do with the time speed node. You'll see it's black there. What's happening is the time speed is looking back in the animation and because those frames aren't there, it gets an error and can't display. So in this case, it's black in the beginning if you trim the clip. Okay, so the fix for this, you can kind of try to keep the beginning of your clip and only just the end and move it around the starting position. But if you do need to trim your clip in the beginning, if maybe you have a video or another graphic or something, what you can do is you can get it all set up, right click, and you can turn it into a new fusion clip. And this will kind of reset the framing. And once you take the juice bullet list effect and drag it on, it should work just fine. Okay. The next, the next black screen problem, hopefully this one is fixed. If not, please let me know this. Uh, I think this was a font issue. So um, we have our resolve logo. We're going to add the effect onto it and we got there. So let's go to the effects. With the, with the original bullet list, I had a default font or I had a font set in there. And I think if you don't have that font on your computer, 
it shows up as black because it's getting an error because it can't find the font. Um, so if that happens, you can just click this and choose one of the fonts and hopefully that'll fix it for you. And hopefully with this new version, it automatically defaults to the font that's set up for your computer. Um, if not, if you're still having problems with the black screen, um, please let me know and I'll dive in and take a look and see if I can get it fixed. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone's support. So make sure that you like and subscribe if you enjoy my content and leave some comments below and let me know what you think of the Just Bolt List effect. Have you used it? Is it something you might use in one of your projects? More videos coming soon. Mm -hmm.